Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is a Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Now hopefully you watched the last video tutorial that I created. It should be the one if you're looking at my channel right previous to this. It's called Photoshop Elements Intro to Version 8. We talked about backing up the catalog so you don't ruin your version 6 or 7 making sure it will still work when we convert a catalog so we can look at our pictures using version 8. I like to do this especially when we're using a trial version because maybe you use the trial version you think later on well it, okay it might not be worth the upgrade price I'm gonna stick with the version I have and then you don't hurt the version you have because once you convert this uh, database or this catalog what's gonna happen is it, it's converted for 8 and you can't reconvert it back down to 7. So after you have it installed you're gonna have a new icon on your desktop and you see it here Adobe Photoshop Elements 8. Okay it looks just the same as 7 did except that 7 will have the word or uh, 7.0 on the bottom. Let's go ahead and launch that. They came with the new splash screen here and a splash screen is basically what we're looking at right here. It's the screen we get into uh, to start into our program. A couple things I want to point out. It says if I'm new to Photoshop Elements, you can click here and launch uh, some tutorial websites and get in there and uh, have a look at things. So you can uh, find uh, your photos and videos in one convenient place and da da da. You can go back. Start your tours. You can actually walk right through this stuff and start learning uh, step by step how to use the program. Alright, now we're going to try to get out of here. Let's close this out. I'm going to reopen it so I can start back from the beginning. The second part of this is I have an earlier version of Photoshop Elements. Click here and it's going to tell you what's new and cool. So, um, you know, it might be cool, might not, but we're going to see that uh, through my video tutorials over time. I'll show you the new features. Um, you know, I'm going to start playing with those now, getting used to them, and then building videos around that. So that's that part of it. If you have an Adobe ID and a password, you can put it here, and that will automatically sign you up or sign you into um, you know your online galleries or what have you. So you can post pictures to, uh, using the online web galleries or web albums. So if you want to do that, that's fine. I am not going to do that. There's you don't have to. It's definitely a, a choice of yours. Let's go ahead and open up the organizer, and what we're going to do is convert that backup copy or backup catalog and we're going to convert it to Elements 8 so we can see all of our pictures that's on our hard drive. Now it's going to tell you right away when you open this, it's going to say failed to open catalog or yours might even find your old catalog and it's going to ask you if you want to convert it. If that's the case, hit no. You don't want to convert it because we want to make sure we're pointing to the right catalog before we do a conversion. Click OK. Now what we need to do here is just simply go up to convert. When you go to convert, you're going to see it's picking up a catalog right here, and that's the base catalog uh, that it's already set up with. You can see it's only uh, media items is 13. It's some basic stuff in there. Um, you can see it was created quite a while back, 424 2009. So let's find more catalogs. And all we're going to do here is drop down to my D drive where I stored it in the last video, and I put it on. Elements 8 catalog. So if I click on here and I click OK, here it is. Now it's going to come up as number one because there's already one called My Catalog. And folks, you can name those folders whatever you want to name them. You can give it a name. Um, and later on down the road, and I think I talked in the past about creating different catalogs, they say, for different events. I kind of like everything in one place because it just makes it nice and handy for me. Once you're done, just simply click on Convert. And I got this message once before. And we're just going to click on Convert here. And once you click on Convert, what's going to happen, it's going to take just a few seconds. And it's going to say that the catalog named My Catalog 1 has been converted for use with this version of Elements Organizer. And the original catalog has been renamed to my catalog 11. All right, so it actually took that catalog and saved us anyway because it it's making a backup of that original catalog just in case something goes wrong. So 
uh, there's another fail safe measure I still like making my own folder because then I know I got everything uh, from my other version it's pointing to the other folder and I'm good to go click OK and then click done you can see here now it says current location we have this D elements 8 catalog that's where I showed you in the last video and we just browsed out to find that I clicked right on here I clicked OK and we converted the catalog so now it says my catalog 1 current now what we're going to do is we can open it up but what I would suggest to do maybe before you even do that click on this optimize button and give it a few seconds just to make sure that catalog or database is cleaned up a little bit um, it's optimizing the thumbnail cache and anytime your pictures this is just something I'll throw out there to you now anytime you're moving through your catalog or in your organizer and you think it's a little sluggish uh, a little slow to respond just come into the catalog manager and optimize the catalog now once that is done running you're going to get a simple message says the catalog and thumbnail cache have been successfully optimized click OK now at that point we can just simply click open and we now have all of our pictures and all of our catalogs all your albums that you work so hard on building we have all those back in here just go through here and make sure it looks good these all look fine these are all still here good banner images so at that point you can see that we have our pictures uh, brought back up and uh, there's a couple here that actually albums I actually moved some pictures of uh, earlier on so I'm gonna have to uh, reattach those and uh, get all those set back up okay so everything I had set up in the last version I still have set up in this version the other albums you see in there that were empty is actual pictures I moved off my hard drive to a backup drive um, so they this this associated itself with the database that's why it's shown as being empty so folks at that part or this point I just wanted to get you accustomed to the new uh, interface here uh, as far as bringing the pictures up and then in the next video we'll start looking at the uh, couple bells and whistles they changed in the organizer and then we'll start working through the editor of some new uh, interesting stuff they put in the editor and we'll just keep on going from there so hopefully you have your Elements 8 open you can start playing around with it if you find anything interesting or anything you wanted me to uh, touch base on a little bit please send me an email and that is jackstechcorner at gmail.com or you can definitely talk in the forums. Um, I'm going to have to go in the forums and open up a form for version uh, 8, for Elements 8. I think we have 5, 6, 7, and now we can have 8 in there. We can have discussions around this. So until next time, always remember, please remember, and I always say the more pictures you take, the more editing you can play with, and the better photographer you're going to become. So keep those shutters clicking, and keep the editor editing. I'll see you back here next time on... Jack's Tech Corner. Bye for now.